situated well. You have so many buttons to cover with only so many fingers. Mm -hmm. Where I feel like analog things just snap into place. You know, yeah. your DI angles. It's still more intuitive for sure. Yeah. The controller. But a lot of people can't bend their thumbs a certain way to make it go so fast. <laughs> so, so then they buy a three hundred dollar controller. You have to have a genetic mutation, um, Wizzy level reactions, or like just the next level of game sense if you're gonna be like something special. Hmm. And uh, I don't know. I think a lot of people here have just gone the I want to be cracked at the game route. Yeah. Jordan's definitely gone like the intuition and game sense route, and I don't know. It's just nice to see how people can get to the certain level of skill from different mm -hmm. routes and push different strengths to make it work for them. There's many ways to skin a cat. At Candy Chicken's peak, he was taking sets off literally everybody in our scene. Everybody. He has noted sets on Symbol, Mux, BZ. I think he's got a few wins on BZ. Uh, and a win on Rest Fest. But you take time away from the game, you slouch into your old habits, yeah, you and hey, you're not Sit around shot. taking pictures of your kitties all day. <laughs> yeah, like. sit around playing fucking <laughs> TFT or whatever you're doing. Yeah. I have the same issues. I just play other games too much. I mean, I was telling Thomas, I'm like, I want to play Jordan. I don't want to play him because <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's been stewing up. <laughs> Even if he hasn't been playing the game. He, he practices when he wants to practice. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say he's like got a regimen or anything. But we'll play for a bit if we do, and then he'll just say, all right, I'm done. I'll see you later. I'm like, oh, why? And he's like, well, I'm going to go practice. And okay. Goes upstairs on his computer for a couple hours. But he's getting better in terms of learning the game more. Like... I think even from the sidelines, you can learn more about the game and put it into play without practicing the game. Absolutely. That's why I feel better at other things than I used to be when, you know, obviously my placements aren't as good. Uh, I still feel like I'm improving at certain things. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely the kind of, especially when I first started off, I like didn't play anybody. And I would just learn about the game and practice. You know, the, stuff. you know the term boot camp, I'm sure, right? Like, yeah. That's kind of all I feel I need to uh, get back to where I want to be. In terms I feel like of I know enough about the game that I'm like, yeah. I just need to play a lot. You definitely do. I just need to play a lot. You need to have OMSA text down. You're, you've got a lot of things down that normal people would, right? Like, you've you got good crouch cancel defense. Your tech chasing is pretty good, from what I've seen. Um, of course, I feel like if you've done it more online, it's better than I've seen. Yeah. But... That play is... Yeah, yeah. See, well, it's crazy. It makes you feel like a god, and then you come come here, and you're like... A lot of people... Uh, a lot of people who have the skill, but don't make a farm bracket, just lack the confidence to keep the, the set at full aggression. Mm -hmm. And you'll fall into either a more defensive or aggressive playstyle based on the nerves. And yeah, you won't mix it up at all. Yeah. That's why it's good to not take things too seriously, and like... You definitely don't feel as much damage when you lose, but it could also be a detriment to your mindset if you want to get really good. Because if you're being easy on yourself, then maybe you'll never go far as you want, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Yo, melee, all G, if N. This guy, he literally, like, every other day, he'll send, like, a gif or something, he'll, like, hop on melee, and then, like, I always just go, okay. <laughs> they play two games on Battlefield. Yeah, they played Battlefield, and then they went back. It is so easy to edge guard people with Sheik on the stage, but... Mm -hmm. I think Sheik's got one of the harder recoveries to do successfully, like you're more likely gonna die coming back than other characters. Yeah. It's definitely one of those that you gotta like get a feel for it. It's not like, you don't know, she she goes invisible, man. Yeah. How the fuck are you supposed to know where she's gonna go when you, if you don't play the character? It's like a motion, it's like a repetitive um, sequence of events. Like you, you touch ledge as soon as you see the start of the up B, and if they're gonna land on stage, you got that covered. If they go to ledge, you're staying there waiting for them. Oh, he goes FT with the fonts. I thought he would 
Oh. Not FD, that's all I thought. I knew he was going Fox, but... You can hear the uh, the decibels from his controller are up yeah. by about twice as much from uh -huh. before. When you earplugs. That's because Fox is a hard character to play efficiently. He's easy as fuck to kill people with and to, like, take stocks with, but to be, like, four in a row to get that, like, consistency, you gotta smack the hell out of your controller. You gotta, you gotta, beat it up you gotta pace them, right? You gotta blow out your controller. But that's why you play the game, though. Yep. You don't play melee because you don't like pushing buttons. Yeah. Unless, well, okay, there's some people that do that, but they like pushing other. They put like, pushing other people. They like <laughs> people pushing people's buttons. Exactly. I like how you put that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cute little down tilt to kill. Oh my god. All right, that looks money. I want to see. I, I want to see a, at least a, something on the board from us. Yeah, nobody wants a blowout. However, it does feel kind of nice to see his counterpicks not be so crazy tough. Like when he counterpicks me, it's fucked up. Yeah, I try to take this guy to a good stage for me. He goes fox. Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. I have that issue too. <laughs> it gets fucked. Any up. any fox versus sheep counter, he is now just gone fox. And yeah. I don't have that anymore as an edge. And his fox is <laughs> like better than mine on many <laughs> occasions. So. I can beat, it's like I can beat one or the other, but then when he switches back and forth between them, it's like, oh my gosh, I, I can't keep up. He's better at switching back and forth between his two characters than I am between the two matchups. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it is nice to see Zach playing really good today, like, showing a lot of consistency. Ooh, the F1? Not giving him anything to bite on. Just slides in and scoops him with that shine. Yeah, Zach is playing good today. Yeah. Good for him. Oh my god, it's over. Ooh. God damn. Ouch. Looking stoic.